Coronaviruses are so named because they look like a halo or crown under a microscope. First discovered in the 1930s, they infect the respiratory tract of mammals, including humans. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, are also coronaviruses. Some also affect the gut and digestive system. The latest strain, first detected in Wuhan, is thought to be a new one. A common but not unique factor in these viruses is animal-to-human transmission. Scientists are currently looking at whether the Wuhan strain was first spread by wild animals, perhaps bats. At present, the situation of disease prevention and control in Hubei is still very serious. The number of confirmed cases in Wuhan is growing fast. Coronaviruses are difficult to replicate in the laboratory, which makes it harder to find cures or vaccines. Like most viruses, they can mutate quickly. That makes them easier to catch and easier to spread. One of the reasons you can catch a cold over and over again. Coronaviruses also spread quicker in winter months and disproportionately affect vulnerable populations with lowered immunity, like the very young and the very old. First, these patients are generally older. 70% of them are over 60 years old. Second, these patients have varying degrees of pre-existing conditions. Mortality rates vary and fears over the spread of these viruses have created panics and sensationalist media speculation. As with all disease outbreaks, confirmed cases need to be isolated. People should take precautions like frequent hand washing and avoiding human-to-human -human contact with those in a high-risk area. China's National Health Commission, the World Health Organization, the U.S. Center for Disease Control, and many other national health agencies are also taking precautions, sharing information, and urging best practices. Dealing with these viruses takes a mixture of vigilance and time for them to run their course. And lessons learned from previous outbreaks, like the SARS virus, means that Chinese and global authorities have a much better handle on how to contain and control this one. However, all viruses are different, and of course none knows international boundaries. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.